And here, Hollywood Handsome, Monday morning at Churchill, comes to the 16th pole in a gallop, prepping for the Belmont Stakes for Dallas Stewart and Mark Stanley. We're here with Dallas Stewart, and in the back in the stall is his Belmont Stakes contender, Hollywood Handsome. And Dallas, just talk about the decision to run in the Belmont Stakes. Yeah, I mean, I think he's a real nice horse, and I think the distance will be something that he can handle. So, uh, you know, we've been thinking about it for a week or two now. I'm Mark Stanley, and talking to him, and, you know, we just figured that uh, he's got a shot. So it's, it's the Belmont, you know. So let's give it, a, give it a shot. He made a stakes debut in the Louisiana Derby, finished fourth beat in I think a total of three weeks. Uh, talk about that race and were you trying to get into the Kentucky Derby off that? Well, you're always trying, but uh, you got to be the nose for third. And I think he only got like 10 points, but uh, he ran great. He finished He finished good. Uh, and that's what I like about him. He, he finishes good. So he's healthy, he worked good. So we're going to take him up there and give him a shot. And then he went on to the Illinois Derby. Uh, Rather than waiting and seeing if you could get in the, with the 10 points in the Kentucky Derby, that just didn't work out. It sounded like it was bad literally from the start. Yeah, it? he went, got off bad. He, he didn't, he wasn't set when they broke and he was in behind horses. It just didn't work out. So, um, you know, we uh, brought him back here, worked him, we worked good, and we ran him in a lounge race. He ran hard, and so here we are. And uh, Florent Giroux, who rode him in the allowance race, will be back for the Belmont Stakes. Uh, I mean, is there something about Drew that says back he won on him? In the yeah, he won on him. You know, he gets along with him. Very glad to have him. He finishes good. He, 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 you know, as soon as he came back after the race, he said, "This horse might fit the Belmont." He says, "I think he'll get the distance." And he's a very relaxed horse. So we'll see. And you came up under Wayne Lucas, who won a lot of Belmonts with horses that going in you wouldn't necessarily uh, have put a circle around them as the winner. There you go. Now you also have, and you're wearing your uh, Saints ball cap, Tom's Ready, owned by Tom Benson, owner of the Saints, and his wife, Gail. He's going in the Met Mile, and talk about Tom's Ready, who has already won a nice right. race at, as a three-year-old. Yeah, he won the Belmont. Belmont, yeah, you're right. He won the Woody Stevens, then he came back here at Churchill, he won the Ack Ack Stakes. He was, you know, ran well in the Breeders' Cup. Uh, so we started this year off, off a seven-month layoff, Ran well, got beat three quarters of the length. So, um, you know, we feel like he's right on. He worked good. He worked in 12 and three for the race. So we'll see what happens for the Met Mile. And so tomorrow they're going to fly out. Uh, right. And Hollywood Handsome had a routine gallop. Yeah, that's what he'll do. Today. Um, and I mean, at this point, after they've had their work, are you looking for any little pills one way or the other with the horse before the Belmont? I mean, I, I think they're right on. I think their, their, their energy's good. You know, we want to keep them eating well, keep them hydrated, and get them over there and run them. Nothing, nothing special. Okay.